How's it going guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the differences between 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands on your dual band router. First, there's a few things we need to talk about when it comes to what these are. So 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz are denotations of what the frequency of these signals are. This does not have anything to do with speed. So this doesn't necessarily tell you which one is faster just because it has a higher frequency. Hertz is a measure of frequency and is how many times a peak of a signal passes through in one second. So how many times basically the wave completes a full length of its wave in one second. So 2.4 gigahertz is a lower frequency than 5 gigahertz, but this does not tell us whether it is going to be a faster speed for your downloads or uploads. Since 2.4 gigahertz does not mean 2.4 gigabits per second or anything like that. This only tells you the frequency of the wavelength. 5 gigahertz signals are best used when there is a clear line of sight between the router and the device you're using. If you're in a multiple story house, you may see poor signal strength if you're on a 5 gigahertz signal and walking too far away from the router to a point where you actually would get a faster speed if you were on the 2.4 band. Now there are advantages and disadvantages of using both. For example, 2.4 gigahertz is probably the most widely used one because it was basically out first and a lot of small devices like Bluetooth devices, phones, uh, garage door openers, even little baby monitors operate on this wavelength. So it can be a bit overcrowded at times, which is why there are some benefits from switching over to the five gigahertz length. Switching over to the five gigahertz signal can kind of alleviate some of this congestion if you're having trouble with a spotty connection. So what does this mean for performance? Well, five gigahertz can offer you some faster speeds, but it kind of depends on the scenario. Say you're in a bigger home, two, three stories, you might want to stick with a 2.4 band because that way your signal strength will be higher and your speeds won't be limited to where if you have a low signal strength on the five gigahertz band, you might have potential for faster speeds, but due to the low signal strength, you're never going to reach those. So if you've been clicking five gigahertz this whole time and not even wondering what the 2.4 is, thinking that it was slower, go ahead and switch over to that one real quick and see maybe you're getting a better signal strength that way and get getting actually faster speeds on your phone or laptop or wherever you might be connecting to. That's it for this video guys. I hope I kind of helped clear this up. It does vary person to person so you're going to have to do your own little tests and just kind of mess with it and see where you're living at the time. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any more questions, leave them below in the comments. Love to talk to you guys there. Subscribe if you haven't because a lot of people on this video actually, video, this channel, are not actually subscribed. So please subscribe if you like this. I do videos similar to this all the time. Go check out one of my playlists and I'll see you guys in the next one.